Vostok Amphibian Automatic and a Casio MRW 200H. It's a quartz. So these are the latest two watches that I've purchased uh, in about the last month or so. The Casio 200H goes for about $25 US, and really it was the black and orange color scheme that sold me on this. Uh, I bought it in the beginning of October, figured it would be my Halloween watch, uh, so they get me in the mood for Halloween, and I ended up wearing it every day of the month. I mean, it's a Casio, so I figured it would be accurate, um, but it's actually really easy to set the day and the date. It's easy to read the face. Uh, the the strap is large enough for uh, someone with larger wrists, and it is a dive watch, so it has the rotating bezel, um, but it has a nice amount of friction to it. Uh, you won't bump this one and move it if you don't want the bezel to rotate. So very few complaints with the Casio. Um, it comes in uh, multiple color variations, and uh, again, for about $25 US, it's actually pretty highly rated on Amazon. And the Vostok Amphibian, again, about $100 US. Uh, I did change the strap on it, um, so you can probably find it for a little bit less, uh, and then I did put a $10 strap on it. Um, Vostok is a Russian company. Uh, they've been around since the early 1940s, and they made watches for the Soviet-era uh, Department of Defense. Um, so, I mean, this is a, a brand that makes watches in Russia, and they've made um, official watches for uh, the Russian military. Uh, you may notice on the face, um, it says B-O-C-T-O-K. Um, that is the Russian spelling of the, the name brand, and the Vostok is like the English uh, version of the brand, but it's the same thing. I bought mine on a metal band um, because at the time, that was the only one on Amazon.ca uh, that was fulfilled by Amazon. So that one was free next day shipping at the time when I bought it. It's not anymore. Um, there's a bunch of other color variations um, and different bands that you can get. And some of those were pretty cool, but they all shipped from Russia. So it would have taken like a month to get it. Um, so I saved about $5 in shipping, and then I had to put a, a $10 or $15 strap on it. So it ended up costing me a little bit more, uh, but I got it right away. So I ended up buying a strap for it, like I said. Uh, it is a 22 millimeter lug width. Uh, and I think I did a pretty good job matching the uh, orange color on the face uh, with the orange color on the strap. Generally, this watch has pretty good reviews on Amazon. Um, a lot of people claim that it looks better in person than it does in the pictures. And for the most part, I would agree with that. The official Amazon pictures make it look really flat and that's not true it's got a lot of curves to it some of the pictures made it uh, appear that there was going to be a lot of machine marks on the on the metal and that's not true with mine either uh, mine looks really smooth um, on the front on the back uh, yeah there's a lot of machine marks on the back but you don't see the back generally so not a huge deal um, the glass is domed uh, got a very retro look to it only complaint with the glass really is it's there's a lot of reflection on it. It doesn't doesn't look like there's any like anti-reflective coating on there, and I don't think it's sapphire or anything special. So you'd have to be careful not to scratch it. And really, the only two complaints I have: uh, the bezel, the rotating bezel, doesn't have a lot of friction. Um, very little force, and it will rotate, um, which I actually prefer. It had like a little bit more friction, or maybe like a ratcheting system. Uh, it basically moves freely in both directions. Um, and then other than that, the date is a little bit hard to set. Um, the Casio has a dedicated position on the uh, crown where you rotate it one direction, it changes the, changes the day, and you rotate it the other direction to change the date. Um, this one only has the date, uh, and there's no dedicated position on the crown for changing the date. You've actually got to change the date by uh, rotating through the hours. Um, you can cycle back uh, from 8 o'clock to 1 and uh, cycle through that way. But, I mean, obviously that takes a lot longer than if it had a dedicated position just to change the date. 
Otherwise, I'll get a shot of the loom of both of these. We've got the Casio on the left and uh, the Vostok on the right. Um, the Vostok has all three hands uh, are loomed and the hours all the way around the outside. Uh, a minus, obviously, the 6 o'clock position where the date window is. Um, and the Casio has all three hands have loom, but there's none on the hours. Given that it's $25, I was actually surprised that it had any loom at all. So uh, either way, I think the loom is, is pretty good on both of these. So yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with either of these. The Casio for $25 makes a great beater if you want something you're going to wear every day easy to set the day and the date uh, again it's easy to read um, and you know 25 bucks if you smack it off something and you know put a scratch on it it's it's not a big deal so it's it's a great one to wear every day and uh, honestly the Voss talk uh, for you know getting an automatic that you can wind and from a you know a brand name that has uh, a fair bit of history to it um, for about $100 US, um, you can't go wrong. I mean, again, the Vostoks are pretty popular for that reason. Uh, around $100, um, you can get a, a nice mechanical dive watch. 200 meters water resistance, and it is a screw-down crown. I did not mention that. And again, they come in all different colors. If you're willing to wait for shipping from Russia, um, you can get a, all different color combinations and, and different color straps. So yeah, I highly recommend both of these.